Hi guys, how's it going? It's Than once again from Tidal Gardens, and this video is all about rock, flower, anemones. Unlike most anemones common in this hobby, such as bubble tips, long tentacle anemones, or carpet anemones, rock flowers are found in the Caribbean. Compared to Australia and the Indo-Pacific, relatively few corals and anemones come from the Caribbean, mainly due to strict regulations. So generally we see a lot of sea fans and recordia from that region. Rock flower anemones are really cool because they have a very unique appearance. Their tentacles have a frilly look to them, so they almost look serrated. I bet you never thought anyone would use the words frilly and serrated to describe the same thing. I've noticed that some of the color morphs of these anemones have more frills than others. The one we just saw is pretty middle of the road as far as that goes. Now this guy here seems to not have much in the way of texture on his tentacles at all. Compare that to this purple and green specimen whose tentacles have all kinds of action going on. It almost makes me wonder if these are different species altogether, because these purple and green ones tend to reproduce more often than the other colors. I'll talk more about the breeding of these anemones a bit later in the video. Let's talk a bit about caring for rock flowers. There really isn't a whole lot to it. They're a very hardy species of anemone. Like all anemones, rock flowers can move to find suitable locations. With any anemone, I recommend protecting the inlets of pumps and overflow boxes to ensure one of these guys doesn't get caught in a pump or end up going down into the sump. Having said that, these anemones tend to move around less than just about every other type of anemone. I have noticed, however, that rock flowers like substrate as opposed to a bare bottom tank. When I removed the substrate in their tank, anemones that had stayed put for months started running around until they found a home on the rocks. As for lighting and flow, they do not seem to be picky about either. I've kept them in both bright conditions as well as dimly lit tanks and they seem to be fine in either system. Same for flow, however they may do a bit better in tanks with more current so they have better access to food. Speaking of feeding, rock flower anemones are sticky to the touch and highly active with their tentacles. They can grab food from the water column and so far have eaten every type of food that we've offered. Generally we like to feed it chunkier pieces of frozen food such as krill and fish. We feed them every three days or so, not including what they're able to catch when we feed the fish every day. In this time-lapse video, you can get an idea of how they grab food and swallow it quickly. Rock flowers can be bred in captivity. They cannot be cut from everything that I've read, but they can still be productive through asexual reproduction. What I've seen in our systems is that they bud off little babies like this. Now they're hard to notice at first, but under the umbrella of a larger anemone, there can be dozens of these little guys. The challenge I've faced is harvesting them. The last time one of the beautiful red flowers reproduced like this, the babies just vanished over time. Perhaps they require more direct feeding? Thanks again for watching. I'm getting more into these anemones and I'm on the hunt for some of the more rare varieties that are out there. I've seen bright highlighter yellow specimens and vibrant hot pink ones. Now I don't see them often and when I do they are really expensive, but check our website occasionally to see how our collection grows. If you missed our last video on zoanthid identification, you can click here. If you want to know a little bit more about the other anemones mentioned earlier in this video, you can check out these annotations and they will take you right there. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Alright, happy reefing guys. Take care.